Did you know there are no good people in heaven? Really? Yeah. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. It's one of our new mugs. It is the Metal Dude Collection Series. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Isn't that cool? And you need this mug to drink your Headbangers Brew in, our coffee. And you can get that and our posters and mugs and all the cool stuff at wearemetalwearefamily.com. So, Pastor Bob, why do you do that ad every time? Well, two reasons. One is that I don't want to monetize. I don't want you to sit through somebody else's ad. And secondly, the money, the proceeds go to our homeless ministry and we could use it. So I don't mind shamelessly advertising the cool things. Plus, I just really love you to have these. You know, I love mugs with a message. We got to call them that, huh? But mugs with a message because every time I drink from it, I see this and it reminds me of cool things. And of course, what could be cooler than the coffee? Just saying. All right. Well, dear Pastor Bob, why is there pain and suffering in the world? My mom and dad have health issues and they are good people. Well, I, I've noticed that not just bad people have health issues and not just good people are always without them. And, you know, it isn't, it isn't about being good or bad. It's about being saved. So, but let's talk about this because this is our mindset so much at the time. And pain and suffering in the world? Well, let's go to Romans chapter 3, verses 10 through 12. And let's begin there. And it says in verse 10, as it is written and forever remains written, there is none righteous, none that meets God's standard, not even one. So it says it's written and it forever remains written. It's true today. It always will be true. This is the fact. Nobody's righteous. Nobody meets God's standard, not even one. There is none who understands there is none who seeks after God. You say, well, I do. No, you don't. You do sometimes. <laughs> and there are times that you don't. It's human nature. It's who we are. There are none that understands. You know, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit gives us uh, the ability to understand the scriptures. We don't even do that on our own. You know, he guides us and he begins to guide our path in, in that direction. And then it says in verse 12, all have sinned, all have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is none who does good. No, not one. So we have the scale. It's a scale of one to 10. And okay, I on one is the, the murderers and all that. Okay, I'm not there. And then there are the people that cheat. No, I'm not really there. Then there are the people who steal. No, I'm not really there. And then there are the people that abuse other people. Well, I'm not really there. And, and there are all these people and we, so we look at all this and then there is perfection, 10. And we go, well, I'm not quite there, but I'm kind of in between an eight and a nine. No, you're not. You know what, folks? We're all one. Yeah. We're all on that side of the scale. Nobody is good. Not even one. You know, every sin that we commit cancels us because sin is the problem. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks after God. There is no one who is righteous. You know, all have turned aside, together have become useless. We become useless as a, as a people. There is no one who really does good. 
No, not even one. Well, what do we do with that? Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and continually fall short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. And some people say, well, I don't really sin anymore. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> and continually fall short of the glory of God. You see, this is the whole reason that Jesus died on the cross, because we can't do it. We would never be good enough. We would never be able to deal with the sin part. No one is good. Not you, not your neighbor, not your parents, not your grandparents. Nobody. So what do we do with that? Well, we have to start there. And we can't keep saying, you know, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, first of all, establish there's no such thing as good people. We've all sinned. But why is there pain and suffering in the world? It's just the way it is. But your parents have health issues, I'm sorry. And I'm one of them. And sometimes, can I just say this? Sometimes the reason we have health issues is because we didn't take good care of ourselves. That is true for me. I spent way too many years not getting enough sleep. Sleep is a huge thing. You need at least eight hours of sleep a night. Some people need more. That's true. To run all of your, through all of your sleep cycles, that's what you need. I know very few people that get that. I do, but I didn't used to. I used to sleep only four hours a night, and I'm paying for it. There are some things that I'm also paying for, my misunderstanding of what kinds of foods sometimes to eat or all of this, but I haven't taken great care of myself, and I'm paying for it today. And that leads me to my next scripture. It's 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. And it says, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, whom you have received as a gift from God, and that you are not your own property? You were bought with the price. You were actually purchased with the precious blood of Jesus and made his own. So then honor and glorify God with your body. Now, what does that mean? And people say, well, that means how you look. You know, you shouldn't have long hair. You... You shouldn't have piercings. You shouldn't have tattoos. And it's not talking about any of that. It's talking about sexuality. It's talking about a lot of different things. But folks, this also applies here. The way you take care of yourself. Health problems, usually they're from that. And I know a lot of people my age. And when I say my age, I'm getting up there. I'll be 70 next year. Yeah, I know. But the closer I get there, I realize that there are a lot of people who have been my friends for a long time who I've talked to about eating habits who are not healthy now because of it. And some people have changed and some people try to change when it's too late. And yeah. And, you know, we cause all kinds of problems. And, you know, isn't this sad that my parents have health problems? Well, it is very sad. But there also may be a reason for it and junk and too much sugar and, you know, so much that we take into our bodies is killing us. And so it's important and maybe we'll do some podcasts on that at some point. But, but honoring God with our bodies, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit in so many ways. So good things happening to good people? No. Life happening to everyone. And folks, when life goes sour, we have a refuge. He is our refuge. He is our strength. He is very present in the time of storms. And that's our hope. That's our foundation. That's where we stand. And uh, again, no good people. No good people, not you, not me, but saved people. <laughs> well, don't forget, folks, you are blessed. So go and be 
a blessing.